Hey guys, Kevin Cage back with another cryptocurrency update. Welcome to the channel. Like and subscribe if you like what you've seen. Let's get right into the information today. One take and uncut. And again, guys, I'm going to try to upload this on the primary channel to see if YouTube um, took back the strikes because they never really got back to me. So sometimes they do do it by accident. Um, and if not, I will just upload this to the second channel. But anyways, let's get into the information today. So shared by XRP Applied. So right here we have the new IMF chief. Her name is Kristalina Georgieva. And again, she's just talking as in right here. The IMF leader wants to unlock liquidity, which is idle. These dorm the dormant capital, the trillions of dollars that are stuck in the correspondent banking system. What's really cool about this is obviously in this little clip, she talks about, you know, of course, this would help create jobs in the green economy. With the right policies and incentives, this will allow us to free the tremendous amount of liquidity which is sitting idle today. And also having investment momentum, which would help liquidity move faster. And she just goes along to say that we have to embrace this positive image, you know, changes ahead etc etc so good sign there now to correlate with this if you guys are curious about the amount of money in cross-border that ripple is tackling today not just you know cross-border payments of course there's other use cases with DeFi and derivative products but let's just focus on the problem at hand right here pseudo pseudo buddha shared this so this is a link 23.7 trillion again guys this is the amount of money globally in cross-border transactions we can see the source here check this out so published in november of 2019 right here with cross-border transactions having accounted for 23.7 trillion dollars globally in 2018 the bulk of which consisted of corporate payments the need for payment systems operators and payment service providers to facilitate seamless cross-border payments at scale has never been greater this is so true and of course continued expans expansionary growth that's a tongue twister in e-commerce b2b p2b cross-border retail payments further highlights this need again so we can see this we'll go down here <clears throat> Right here, cross-border payment obviously is a transaction which funds are sent from an entity in one country to a recipient in a different country. For those of you that do not know, and I know that's pretty, you know, pretty much common sense. And then right here, talking about correspondent banking in the cross-border settlement issue. So we can see here the correspondent banking flow, you know, the payment flow chart. We can see that there's it's just a clunky system. There's no interoperability. Obviously, different messaging standards. I mean, obviously, you can dive into just your own research if you'd like to see this. But again, data flow, payment flow. So keep in mind, this is not settling the payment with finality. This is not true settlement because the data and the messaging goes through. And then later on, they have to settle on the back end for these payments on the actual core ledger for these banks. And then, I mean, the primary banks will settle and then they have to go all the way to the central banks of the country to permanently settle. And this is why it takes so long. It's extremely expensive and unreliable. And today, Day. It's just not how we should operate. And so everybody's realizing this, the BIS, the IMF, all these groups, even at the World Economic Forum in Davos, they've been addressing this. So this is awesome. This is right what I want to see as an investor in XRP. All right, right here, Johnny Lawrence, just wanted to give a shout out. So this is the XRP ecosystem. Check this GIF out, G-I-F. He designs all of these by himself. This is amazing, showing the whole XRP ecosystem. Transfer Go, MoneyGram. We got Coil. Let's just see what else we can spot. Instagram, Selly. What I mean, what awesome work. Sologenic, the XRP tip bot. I mean, right here, Cinnamon as well. I have a few videos on Cinnamon. Just well done, sirs. So, guys, Johnny Lawrence on Twitter, must follow. All right, right here, XRP Crypto Wolf. Singapore users will now have access to an institutional crypto platform for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and XRP. Cryptocurrency Exchange Independent Reserve is expanding to Singapore. And again, I say this in every single video, Singapore is an up-and-coming tech center, especially for blockchain and payments and fintech companies. Singaporean dollar trading will be integrated on the exchange. Awesome. All right. And then right here. So, guys, this is, you know, just genuine right here. So, again, Bearable Bull shared, shared this. I think I've shown this before. Ganesh Hiramath. And just again, let's just take a peek at this. Right here, it shows innovations in existing legacy market infrastructures. We have examples, Swift GPI, of course, to help, you know, competes with X current big deal. Now, crypto assets designed for inter or intra bank payments and settlements. JPM coin, JP Morgan's coin to use with their domestic cross flows and then Ripple's XRP. Now, pay attention to this. And this is really, really cool. So, again, this is most relevant for retail central bank digital currencies. And then right here, most relevant for wholesale CBDCs. As we can see here, this gentleman literally just reads my mind. XRP beside JPM perfectly illustrates the difference between intra-bank and interbank. Think of JPM kind of like, you know, the intranet, their internal network. JPM 
anyone that's a JP Morgan partner or wants to sign on and utilize their blockchain for payment flows, they can, but they will have a small network and other banks that compete with JPM, JP Morgan, they, they won't want to compete per se. It's not a level playing field. They all have their own vested, vested interests. That's intra bank. Anyone in this kind of intranet, this intra network, they can, you know, talk together and communicate, send payments and settle. With interbank, which is what XRP solves, that is true interoperability between these banks, these groups, these FIs, these corporates and institutions. That is where the money lies. All right. And last but not least, I just want to give a shout out to Vitze Vind, and I always say his name incorrectly. The XRP tip bot was shut down by Twitter, but it is back. And I'm not sure if I was like one of the first people to kind of bring it up because I was trying to set a t um, tweet and some people in my tag that got retweeted ended up getting his attention. But again, right here. So we have a new thing. We just use XRP tip, tip afterwards with the hashtag. So, for example, when I sent a tip here to Aiden Trading, it's instead of the at XRP tip bot, you literally use the handle plus one XRP. You can do plus 10, plus 100, plus, you know, point oh oh one, whatever you want. And then hashtag XRP tip. And now it will automatically send Aiden a tip to his account instantaneously. So I love that, guys. Happy that we had a workaround with this. Nobody really knows what's going on. Um, I mean, obviously, the CEO of Twitter is very biased and heavily invests into Bitcoin. But I'm just happy that we have a you know, supportive XRP community. He, this, I mean, Vitsa Vind, Vitsa Wind, however you want to say his name. I really, really appreciate you know all the hard work he does. And he has a bunch of other exciting applications that I'll cover in the next video as well. So with that, guys, be sure to like the video. Um, let me know down below if you have anything to add. Hopefully, I'll be able to upload this on the primary channel. If not, oh, well, I'll continue to grow the backup one. I appreciate all of you guys, and I hope you have a great weekend. Thanks.